back to Studio 33 Art by Kay, everyone. Today I'm just going to be doing a few um, little tiles and I'm doing pink ones because um, a friend of mine has been through a best breast cancer journey and um, wants to give out some lovely pink coasters to um, some of the nurses who had helped look after her during her um, time in hospital. So what I've done today, I've been doing a few, and with this one, I've just literally picked the paint up off the um, bottom of the uh, mat here, placed it on there as a base. Now I'm going to do a drizzle, spin, wreck, and then some hearts. Now, the deeper you have your base paint, the more you have to spin it off, otherwise it will just continue to run off and all your paint, will, you know, your pattern will be all gone when you go back and check on it in the morning. So um, just be aware of that because you can't just leave it um, really deep on there. So what happens is because it's going to be deep, because that's how I've put it on, when I spin out, my cells will get bigger because they will stretch and move off. Um, so that's what I wanted. So I wanted it to be quite deep, but I must make sure that I spin it off very well. Okay, so I'm just going to start loading up my pinks on there. And these are all um, this little piggy colours. This one's show pony. So I'm literally just drizzling the paints all over. And it doesn't matter what colour I've got there as my base. As you can see, I just picked the colours up off the mat. The next colour I'm going to put down is Venus. They're all beautiful TLP colours, as I say. And I've actually mixed all of those with the Gisonia Gloss Varnish. And I use three different Torben's paints. Because two different people I watch were using two different ones. So I thought I'd mix them all together. And they work out really well actually. This one's Twilight. Which is quite similar really to Venus. It's not that different. It's just a little bit darker. And next I will lay down, I'm going to put down a little bit of um, sterling silver. I want that in there, but I want it underneath because I want to have the bright pink, very, very bright pink, which is Hustle um, on top because I want it to be one of my heroes. So this next one is Sequins, which is a beautiful um, interference pink. It will show up most when it's dry. Just give that bit of extra sparkle in there. So next I'm going to lay down Flamingle. Beautiful pink with an interference or a colour shift actually through it. And now Hustle which is such a beautiful, bright fluoro. So it doesn't have any um, mica in it, this one. It's just a straight fluoro. That'll be enough of that. Right, bursts and bubbles. You can see any that don't burst, just use your little meat skewer just to burst any. Oh, I think it's now it's gone anyway. Right, so next I'm just going to use a playing card like that. And I'm just going to use some of the Amsterdam Oxide Black cell activator that I've mixed up with Australian Flow Troll. I'm just going to put it's about what's that, one and a half centimetres. And just make sure you've got enough on. You don't want too much or you'll end up with a big black bit where you started. And you don't want too little either. Otherwise, you'll end up it running out by the time you get to the other side. So let's see how we go. Just gently and try and be 
flat if you can. Don't dig in. Probably could have done with a little bit more cell activator on there. As you can see, it's kind of smearing towards the end, which they do anyway. And look at those cells, huh? Beautiful. So we'll just do the same thing again. And here we go again. A little bit more on that time and as you can see it hasn't smeared until the very end but I have got a lot of black up there so we'll see if the cells come through just use the um, torch because that will help to break that up a bit help those cells to come through As you can see, they're coming through now beautifully. So you can see the difference there where I didn't have as much of the select fader on here. And here I had more. You've got a lot more of that black. But it's all trial and error. And every time you do it, you know, to be honest, you'll do something different. Now, I'm not liking this here where it's um, completely wiped off. So I'm just going to pick some up off the tray. And then that will encourage that bit there to spin off. Otherwise, it might just stay like that. Make sure it's going to run off. If it's too dry, the paint won't flow off. And I want it to, because I don't like that little bit just there either. Okay, so the next step, because this is a drizzle swipe, and now I'm not going to wreck and spin, I'm going to spin and then wreck, because I don't like wrecking first before I spin, because I find it makes all the um, my wrecking lines sort of go skew if, and I, I like them to stay fairly true. See, all those have come through, that's great. Okay, I'm going to start spinning. And now, I am still on my um, little cup there. So I have to be careful not to spin too hard, otherwise it's going to come flying off. So I'm trying to get the excess paint off and also enlarge my cells. still isn't coming off but I can tilt that off just um, move her slightly over Okay, well, it's nearly come off. It's been stubborn. I don't want to tilt it too much because then my cells will become very elongated. So I might just get a straw and just blow that bit off there. Nope, that's not going to help. Light tilt. It doesn't have far to go, but it's 
not wanting to flow. Come on, flow. As I say, I don't want to elongate my other cells too much. I think that'll be okay now. Just get some paint off here to make sure all the corners are covered. The sides, which they pretty much are, I think. Right, so that's looking great. Now when you're using your turntable, whatever's closest to the center of the turntable won't move much. And the further you get to the edges, that will be where this um, centrifugal force will force those cells to expand more. So you can adjust where you're actually spinning from um, to change how you want your result to be. So now what do I do? Hmm. Actually, I could leave it like that. It's so 3D looking. It's great. I'll give one last little spin. Okay, so now I'm just going to do some wrecking. I've just got a skewer here. I'm just going to use the blunt end. And you basically, you're just going in, start at a starting point, come around, and then come off wherever you want. So wherever you want it to look. I usually look for somewhere that I might want to break up a bit, like there's a little bit of white there I can see, so I'll start with that. Just break that up. And these cells here. Okay. And now I want to do some little hearts. I like to do my little hearts. And so what I've been doing is I've just been using the Montmartre pouring paint gold or silver. In this case, I'm going to use the gold, oh, the silver, sorry, because I've already got silver in here. And I just do three or four little, I say little, and a lot came out, little dots. Try and do them a bit smaller than that, but this particular nozzle lets it come out pretty fast, so... Um, where am I going to go here? Just let it drip out. And do three or four. And I just place them quite randomly. And anywhere else? Maybe just through here. Just trying to let it drip out rather than squeezing it out. There we go. Where's my lid gone now? Forever losing the lid. Oh, here we go. Right, so now I'm just taking the pointy end this time of my skewer. And just literally running it through the three circles and then you get your little hearts so that went to the edge this one i'll bring inwards this one can go out this one can come in a bit Alrighty, got some big cells here, haven't we? Shall we just break those up a little bit? Just do a little spiral there. 
So if you're seeing big cells or anything you want to break up, just do, you know, a small spiral. Just to break them up a little bit. Unless you want the really huge cells, in which case, just leave them. Okay. So there it is, guys. Hopefully it won't have too much paint still on it and I'll end up losing the whole pattern by morning, but we'll see. So I'm just now removing any of the excess paint from underneath because otherwise that will keep dragging the paint off the top and we don't want that to happen. I'm trying for that not to happen. And now I'll just use the heat tool one more time, the heat gun, just to make sure that I've burst all those bubbles. And there we have it. I'll bring you down for a close-up. Here we are coming down for the close-up of this pretty little piece. As you can see, the hearts look really pretty. The wrecking lines, got lovely cells. Hustles come through fantastically. And um, so I'll just go in a bit closer. Very happy with this piece. So there you have it, guys. If you've got any questions, um, don't hesitate to put them in the comments below. And um, I'll see you back here in Studio 33 in the not-too-distant future. Until then, stay safe. Bye-bye.